This is Matthew Cubby reporting from Chaley School for BBC School Report Day. Recently, it's been announced by Chaley School that the 140 kids of Year 7 will be allowed to miss a, miss a period of their regular day to watch their clips. The Science Department at Chaley School have managed to collect enough of the protective glasses needed so that the students can gaze at the sun without their eyes being damaged. Why did you organise this event for Year 7s? Um, specifically for Year 7s because they are the only year group that study the solar system as part of their um, curriculum. And we organised it this year because this week is National Science and Engineering Week. So it's absolutely fantastic that we have a solar eclipse um, during this week as well. Mm. What is your solar eclipse and why is it so important? It's really important because it's a really rare event. So look, a solar eclipse is where the moon comes in between the earth and the sun during their natural orbits, which means that during the day, the sun is obscured by the moon. It's really rare because the moon has to be in the correct part of its orbit um, and the earth and the sun have to be in the right um, places as well. They also have to be the correct distance apart from each other for the moon to be the same size as the sun to be able to obscure it. Around how long is it until the next solar eclipse? There will be another solar eclipse that we will partially be able to see from the UK in 2026 um, and then another one after that won't be until about 2080. Are there any dangers involved in watching the solar eclipse? There are some dangers because of the UV radiation from the sun. So normal sunglasses aren't good enough to watch the solar eclipse, even if you wear multiple versions of them. Um, you have to wear the proper um, solar eclipse viewing spectacles that need to be health and safety approved. What if it's a cloudy day on the day? Um, I'll be very disappointed if it looks like this and it's cloudy on the day. Um, Unfortunately, we won't be able to see much of the eclipse if it is cloudy, but we will still be able to go out and experience everything getting quite dark. Where can you totally see the full eclipse? The best places to see the full eclipse are very, very north. So the Faroe Islands are going to get about a 90% view of the eclipse. We're going to get about 85%. OK. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. At 9.30am, you'll be able to see the eclipse at its best. So let's all hope the weather stays clear.